Hello. I am just getting all set up here. If you're here, say hello. Oops. Just trying to get... Hmm. There we go. Turning my internet on. On my tablet. Shoot. I thought I was ready. <laughs> Whoever's here, hello. Let me see if I can chat. Okay, we'll go to my channel. See if I can see myself. There we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. So hello, 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 great. I uh, had to kick the kid <laughs> out of the room, so that's why I was a little late. Um, anyway, hi, Erin, nice to see you. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, um, I have some of um, my envelopes that I've been making, and um, I love them. They're so super cute. And I think on the end of my last stream, I showed how you could make like a little lined envelope and um, a little card. I like to have these on hand for like little notes for. Um, my daughter's teacher and um, for co-workers and I don't tend to put them in the mail I tend to like hand somebody something but I was gonna see if a gift card fit in here let me go get a gift card I'll be right there let's see let me get my gift cards here Here's one. Here's a Starbucks gift card. And I think it does, yeah. Mm, yeah. Let's see. Yep, so you could give um, a gift in that. A little gift card. So that's fun. So I have these that I'm selling on my Etsy shop. It's called Kate the Skate Studio. And I was thinking it would be fun. Um, I have some of the, like, um, not rejects, but the ones that aren't perfect. Because I don't sell the not perfect ones that I make. So I was thinking I could embellish these and then take them to my sewing machine. Thank you for coming. It's the middle of the day on a work day, but I have this week off. So I thought I would do another stream. Because to me, they're really fun. And I have some tea stained paper. Let me go get that. Um, so I did a bit of tea staining. And let's see, am I live right now? Now I'm live. Um, they were found. Um, these ones were found, and when I tea stain them, the um, adhesive comes off, and so that's nice. So you can keep them open. Um, hi, Connie. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Um, so then you can embellish them however you want, and then if you choose, you can close them. So yeah, I have. I hit the mother load so to speak. So I'm selling these in, these are five envelopes, five envelopes. There's dark and light. I don't know if you can see the difference. This is a lighter one. This is a darker one. The sun's coming out, so it's getting brighter. Um, this is a very light one. And so I sell them in packs of 10. This would be 10. And then this would be 
20 on my Etsy shop. So, and they do fit into like a um, envelope. So it's very little shipping. You just fit in there like little bugs in a rug. <laughs> so <clears throat> how is my sound, you guys? Can you hear me? I never know because I have the sound off. Um, but anyway, they fit in an envelope and they're awesome. And yeah, they're fun. So that's kind of a new thing on my shop. And when I was tea dyeing them, I tea dyed some paper because I got a swap. Let me see. I'll show you. I got a swap and the swap stuff that I got um, was a lot of scrapbook paper. And I'm not opposed to scrapbook paper. I think it's fun. But when I make something with it, the back is like super white. And so I tea dyed it so the back wouldn't be white. Um, it's good. Thank you for telling me that it's good. That's awesome. Um, so I was thinking that these might make good pages for this journal that I've been wanting to work on. And I could do little pockets or let's see. So I was thinking about this, but I want to get some envelopes done first. But I think this would work there, and I could cut them. So yeah, so I tea dyed this paper, and I, I got one of each. So, um, or I got, I'm sorry, I received two in the swap. So this one is tea dyed, this one's not. So I just did one of each to kind of see if I liked it. And then if I liked it, I'll tea dye the other ones. So here's another one, like, oh, this one I loved. So here's the, the not tea dyed. And let's see if I can find it in here. Where are you little guy? There it is. Here's the tea dyed. Can you see the difference? Let's see if I hold it like that. A little bit of difference, the white and the um, white. Anyway, so I did that, that was fun. And I was thinking those would go well in this journal here. Um, <clears throat> and I also thought that some of these would make great little things to tear apart for journals and for um, not journals for these so I'm gonna work on these first so I have a whole bunch of scraps you like the tea dyed is that what you're saying you like yeah that's okay Connie it's hard to type if especially if you're on your phone or a tablet um, but I have a box of scraps from my latest um, journal. I sent off my um, precious, 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 precious custom journal yesterday. And it was hard to say goodbye. Um, but I have all this. There's a Trader Joe's receipt. Um, I have all this scrap from that project that I thought, ooh, I could start gluing things together and that kind of thing. I'm just gonna keep this down here. Yeah, Erin, I was actually thinking, so when I got this swap, I was thinking, you know, what am I gonna do with all this, this scrapbook paper? It's not that I don't like it, it's just, um, not the aesthetic that I'm working with at the current moment, right? Current moment, right? Um, and so I thought, well, it was given to me and I can choose to do whatever I want with it. And so let me try tea dyeing it because it really, and so let me try tea dyeing it because it really, you know, tea dyeing is just easy for me. It's easy, it's quick. So these are just, like scrappy scraps. So I'm just getting out some scraps to work with. 
And so it, it, it did a, it was a good, and so it, it did a, it was a good idea for me. Um, I wouldn't say it's for everyone, but it was a good idea for me. Um, I don't bake them. I do air dry them and I have this like old, um, how, how would I explain it? Old drying rack, but not what you'd think of as a drying rack. But anyway, and so I can do a boatload at a time and I have fun and it's like, it's relaxing to me. It's like my downtime. I don't see it as work. I see it as fun. And so, yeah, so I'm just getting my scraps out here. Just scrappy scraps. Um, so I'll take the big pieces out. So I air dry them. To answer your question, I air dry them. And I like it better that way. They're not crunchy um, when I'm done with them. They're, like these I think are probably 60 or 70 pound envelope um, paper. So they're a nice width or whatever, a night or thickness. I don't stack them while they're wet. I let them all dry individually on their own and um, completely dry, like overnight or over whenever I get back to them. You know, it's not um, it's not a hurry thing. It's a slow process. <laughs> I've got scraps, man. At what point, I always ask this question. At what point do you throw the scraps away? Everybody says, never, don't throw them away. It's like, okay. And I gotta do something with it. I wish I had my sewing machine out right here because I would do what, what's her name just did, um, Daisy, and sew them together. And she made the cutest, um, embellishments for little mini envelopes on um, her stream recently. Um, I'm talking about Tsunami Rose. There, there's some, I also, I could get my washi out too, because I never use my washi. Okay, that's good enough for the moment. Alrighty, any other questions you guys have? I'm happy to answer them. Um, I don't have anything heavy on them to flatten. They just are awesome. <laughs> um, I never have anything to he heavy on them to flatten them. And um, I've thought about ironing them, but I don't need them to be flat personally. Um, but that's what you do. Stack them while wet and then have something heavy on them to flatten them. Um, yeah, I, I don't do that, but that's a good idea. So let's see here. That's a great idea. I just, I just do it the simplest and quickest way for me. So for me, it's make a vat of tea, hot tea, put all the stuff in, swirl it around, start taking them out. So the ones that I take out first are really light. The ones that I take out last are really dark. And then I just lay them flat. I do lay them on a, um, a piece of paper. You iron them, Connie. Um, yeah, weren't they cute? They were so cute. It made me want to get out my silhouette. So I'm going to have to do that. And I was thinking I could take the tea dyed scrap paper and cut some something out of out of this as well. So maybe I will cut these out of my silhouette and then tea dye the non tea dyed stack and make pages. I don't know, but that's where I'm going. So anyway, I wanted to make some more. Um, and so anyway, I wanted to make some more um, embellishments or and or envelopes. So you do iron them. Um, okay. That's good to know. So I have some, um, what is this called? Napkin that I might use. 
This is some eco dyed paper, but that's a nice piece of paper. I also have this. This is a little bee. It's a nice little bee here. So maybe I'll cut out the bee. I'm not a big um, inker, but sometimes I am. So it just depends. So we'll put that there. Do you want me to zoom you in a little bit? Let's try it. Let me see if I can. Whoa. There we go. All right. So I was thinking, and then, you know, we could have some different layers and hello, Candy. How are you? You use your paint brush to paint your coffee on and then let them air dry under a ceiling fan. Well, that sounds really nice. That That's nice. Um, I like that. I want something darker underneath. That's not darker. <clears throat> yes, hello, Candy. So, I mean, I'm just plain. There, I'm no real no real agenda other than making art and I'm gonna cut this down a little bit so big here we go sorry if you can hear my kids screaming but they are gonna eat lunch soon and hopefully take a nap We'll see about that, right? Yeah, I want to show some of the words. Maybe I'll have this over here. Or maybe I'll tear that down a little. So I was thinking, like, after I put this all together, then I could go to my sewing machine and sew. I want some, I need dark. Dark, dark, dark. I don't have a lot of dark. Hmm. What would you guys use for dark? Do you have any dark ideas? Like, um, dark paper. What kind of dark paper do you use? Here, I have, this is some dictionary. I could use a little dictionary. So we have seven people. I bet one of those people is me. So we have six people. Nice to see you all. Tear that a little bit. This is dark. Yeah, that is dark. That it, thank you, Erin. That's exactly why I do these things. Like that underneath there. Ha ha. Ha ha, ha ha. You hear my kids screaming? I'm so sorry. So sorry. If you can and it bothers you. Is that better, Erin? Yeah. So like I would sew around this image here because that's what she did. So I think I'll just tack with fabric. Craft paper would work. Um, yeah, craft paper would work. So I'm just going to go here and tack and tack. So yeah, this is, I mean, totally inspired by her. If you watched her stream, um, Tsunami Rose is, is who I'm talking about. And here we go. And I've been watching her stream lately, and it's been really nice. Oops, so there's the first one. So I will glue that just a little tack down. Just a little bit here. 
So what are you all up to today? Do you work from home or do you are you a stay-at-home mom? Or is it nighttime where you are? What are you guys cra doing? Crafting along? There, there's one. Awesome. Do another one. I'm going to work in 30 minutes. I'm sorry, Aaron. Yeah. Working is a necessary thing. I like my work, but not everybody does like their work. So there's one. We'll do that one. That one's really pretty. I like that. So I used to struggle with focal point. That is something I used to struggle with. Um, 54 ATC card swap. Holy cow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, wow. Don't know what to say other than holy cow. Um, is there a theme, Connie? You're probably working and don't want to answer, which is totally fine. Um, here's some wallpaper. And pretty. I like that. And this is too big for that. So I used to struggle with focal point. I don't know what happened, but one day it just clicked. And what I mean by focal point is like the subject matter. So like the B is my focal point here. And I don't know what it was. It was just like all of a sudden it's like, okay, yeah, I can... I just never know, knew what to put as a focal point, and now that's not a problem. So, like, I have these stamps here that I got off of a, um, when I ordered from this woman. Oh, my goodness. It was so awesome. It came in the most beautiful. Um, I ordered stamps, and it came in the most beautiful package like that. You did, Candy? Coffee died some small envelopes this morning. Um, inspiration for living a creative life. Ooh, tell me more about that. What What is inspiration for living a creative life? We all could talk about that, couldn't we? Um, so these are literally like my scrappy scraps. Here. Putting the scrappy scraps in. Anything... This has a little bit of sewing on it already, so that might be nice. What does give you inspiration for living a creative life? That is a good question to ask people. Because um, people get inspiration all over the place. And it's, it's quite wonderful when you can find it. Oh, that's the theme, Connie. Inspiration for living a creative life. And you, okay, an inspirational quote. I like that idea. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. So I'm, I'm being fussy here. I'm being super fussy. But I don't really need to be. But I do like this little scrap. This is also tea dyed paper. So I've never had any coffee dyed paper. I've never coffee dyed, but I love tea dyeing, so I'm not going to switch personally. Um, you put jo quotes in your... Hi, Joey. Hi. Did I miss you coming in? Hello. Um, you put quotes in your junk journal. That is excellent. I sometimes do that, and um, I enjoy doing that. It's really fun. So how am I going to do this? Put a little bit of glue there. I need to get a little bit more of this stuff here. Is it nighttime where you are, Joey? Is it night night time? That's what we call it here. <laughs> here meaning here in my house. Um, yeah. That there. Put this here. 
8.30. Yeah, okay, not too bad. Great. Awesome. I love it that we can all come together from all around the world. That's another reason why I really like um, this community and the people in it because we are all, we like everybody, international, you know, there we go. So there we go. I think Daisy has it right. She like makes them then cuts them kind of, but here we go. I want that little piece to stick out right there. <laughs> I want it to be not balanced, asymmetrical. So that's what I'm going for. Here we go. There's another one. You keep a book of inspirations nearby, Erin. Um, coffee comes out a little darker. Yeah, it does come out a little darker, doesn't it? Um, I get my tea pretty dark. Um, mm, she Walks in Beauty Like the Night by Byron. I like that. Um, I have... Um, from my campfire days, something called a magic ring. And you put songs and quotes in it. And it's a book that you put stuff in. And um, that's kind of where I started when I was young with that. So there's another one. Did I glue that one down? Maybe I should glue this one down. And that's really fun. Um, so I have that one and it has like my elementary school and junior high and high school handwriting in it and there we go a little birdie a little birdie and I love it and it's like from that time in my life and I, sh I have started others but that is um, one that I've had for a long time so I'm going to put the cap on here. All right. What will I be doing with these envelopes? I think I'm going to put them in this journal um, that I'm going to make next. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to make one more and then I'm going to um, move on. That's too big, but I keep wanting to use it. Um, but, Joey, I need to sew them, and my sewing machine is not here. It's downstairs. So I will do that later. And then I also want to get out my, um, this week, I want to get out my silhouette, um, cameo silhouette, and work with that because I'm not very good with that. So I need to practice. Some nice writing here. Nope. There we go. Okay. Maybe I do have some craft paper. Let me see here. Crinkle paper, crinkle. Um. Let's have medium darkness paper. Well, I could, I, you know what I could do is I could, your sewing machine is on your wish list, Candy. I am lucky enough to have one already, but um, I was really hesitant to use it um, for paper for a long time. And I actually bought a craft one that was crap and used it like once. I was like, oh no, I'm going to my real sewing machine. But I have another one on my wish list that is a little bit easier to thread the bobbin and that kind of thing because I am not good with threading the bobbin. Not necessarily threading the bobbin, just threading the entire um, machine. There. 
So, um, what's it called? Distressing the edges does, does work. It does, it works. And if I had a little piece of, maybe, there we go. And, ooh, the sun really came out. Oh, hi. Hi. There we go. Are we back? Are we back? If you can see me, no connection. Tap to retry. Are we back? We are here. Awesome. I'm here too. I'm learning as I'm going, aren't I? Yay, Robin. Thank you, Erin. Thank you, Robin. I think it's just like us too. Erin, <laughs> uh, Robin, I think everybody else left, but maybe not. Um, but you can see me and you can hear me, so I will carry on. So I'm working on this here. Just wanted a little bit of text. Connie, hi, you came back. Thank you. Nice to see you. I'm going to add that right there. Put my little flower image right there. And I like it. Okay. So yeah, tea, or, um, distressing the edges does work. Yay. Yay. We're back. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take that off. So I'm just gluing it right down to the outside of the envelope. Um, and I kind of like to just have these on hand. You know, when you're making a journal, it's nice to have some things pre-made. And you don't have to worry about like making everything from the beginning when you're putting a journal together. So that's kind of my goal is actually after I finish a journal to make some ephemera before I start the next journal. So Erin, were you able to reload? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm just gonna add this just a little tack down because I am gonna sew this. And the sun is coming out. It was very um, overcast this morning and a little rainy, which doesn't bother us. We like rain. Um, and my plants hadn't had rain in a little while, and we are not into um, the watering season yet, I would say. So, yeah. So, yep, there's another cool one there. And like I said, I like to leave a little bit hanging out there so it's a little asymmetrical and you can kind of see what's going on behind it. Um, whatever you tapped caused you to buffer again here. Oh, no. Erin, can you, can you see me now? Is any but can anybody here and see me? This is really fun. <laughs> yeah, it would be fun. You mean to make some of these and send them in the mail? You do, Robin. Thank you. And Aaron, great. Awesome. I know. Well, I had made this thing on a video. Um, which it's an envelope that I'm like using as like tuck spots and things. And I was thinking this could go in here because it would be a perfect size. And so anyway, um, but I was thinking it would be kind of fun to make an envelope kind of like this where you send this and somehow the person just has a little bit of tape right here. And then you could like cut the tape and open it up. And maybe there'd be things here and then you could open the flap and there'd be more things inside. I don't know. It was just 
this was on my desk and I, so I was like kind of thinking of it that way. Um, so yeah, so here's three envelopes, but I don't know if you can mail something this small um, and if it would get there or the mail would in the US, if the mail would even accept it, I should go ask. So I've started going to the mailbox a lot or the post office, I should say a lot. And the, they're starting to like say like, oh, what are you here doing today? And like, how are you? I mean, they're not, they're kind of straight laced and they don't talk a lot, but um, they just want to do their job, which is fine. But um, I've been there before and said, oh, how much will this cost? And they're like, do you want to mail it? I'm like, no, not yet. Just, just checking, just checking in. So um Maybe extra postage, yeah, it might be extra postage. But, so, there's one envelope. Wow, it's really sunny. Two envelopes, three. So I'm just kind of adding to my stash. So, I just wanna do that little bits at a time. These are so cute. And sometimes, like I said, I put a little note in them. Um, for my coworkers, especially if I know that they're like going through something. Um, my stamps, so um, let's see. I got some stamps from this lady. Hold on one minute. Um, not that lady. I tore up the envelope because it had so many cool things on it. Um, and it's called, here, Tangle Crafts, Tangle Mail by Air, and here is her little sticker, let me see if I can get it and get it in view, Tangle Crafts, and I actually think, hi Judy, nice to see you. Um, she's in the UK. Tanglecrafts.co.uk. T-A-N-G-L-E. And she has tons of, um, stamps. And I bought a whole bunch of stamps. And actually, this was the stamp that was a real stamp that was on, um, the envelope to mail it to me. So that was kind of cool. Hi. Yeah. I try if I'm mailing something that I can use real stamps. I do. That's the other thing is I ask the the, um, the people at the post office, can you, can I use a, a real stamp instead of like the like printed out thing? And they're like, okay. And they're like, well, we don't have one stamp for this. So it's going to be like five or six stamps. And I'm like, perfect. That's more the merrier. <laughs> but they don't quite understand. So like this was here. And this was here, and then I've used those other stamps. So it was like I ordered stamps, I got all the stamps I ordered, and then I also got these. So really awesome. So anyway, I'm, I'm making things to put in this junk journal, and some of the things I just made were these, if you're just joining me, because I see a couple people are coming in, and these are... Um, she is, I think she's on Etsy. Yeah. Tangled Crafts on Etsy. Um, yes. I ordered through Etsy. But I think she just must have like her own website or something. But yes, Tangled Crafts on Etsy. And so I was just embellishing some of my, um, you're welcome, Judy, some of my um, little mini envelopes that I have in my Etsy store, Kate the Skate Studio. Um, for my next junk journal and this is my next junk journal and I do have a video on how I made this and I'm just kind of slowly starting but one of the things I've been doing is making these and these are pieces of paper from this was a I think one piece two pieces of paper one or two one piece of paper from a book that I wasn't going to use what was on the page. It was like um, 
about pests in your garden and it just kind of creeped me out and so um, I started collaging on it and what I did is one side I put like um, imagery and the other side I tried to put just blank things so you could write on it and this is not my original idea let me move some of this um, this is um, a Gail Augustinelli idea or I saw it at hers so we always like to give Maybe that. I want to put that right there. Um, we always like to give credit. But I've been making some of these to put in this journal too. So um, let's see. So like if I tear this here. And sometimes I like to have the not torn edges out like there. there so I'm just covering it with things that aren't um, you know like flowers and stuff like that so I'm just using my glue stick so these will also be pages in this journal and I'm <clears throat> been thinking about this journal for a little while um, and it's not for anybody but I'll probably put it on my Etsy shop when I'm done perfect so this is just a little bit literally tissue paper brown tissue paper so um, you can see this is the like embellished side that is a stamp from tangled crafts tangle crafts um, and here's another one and these are all my scraps or things that I had that I wasn't using. And then here's the side without um, embellishments. Here's another side without embellishments so you could write. And then here's a side with imagery. Hi, Anne. I love Roxy Creations too. I think she probably, I think Gail maybe got this idea from Roxy or vice versa, but I do really like her collaging and collaging style. This is actually a tea bag, this right here. Um, so yeah, I was thinking that, you know, in your journal, if you go, here's your journal, it's like, okay, like here's one of them, although they might be too big now that I'm, they're a little too big. I might have to cut them down, but um, you know, you could have a page to write on and then a pretty page and then a page to write on and then a pretty page and then a page to write on. And so that was kind of my thoughts going forward, although I'm noticing that let me do one. It's gonna, I'm gonna need to cut them down, which is okay. So I'll just cut the edges. So I'm gonna use these in here, and it'll probably be two signatures, maybe. And then some of my um, scrapbook paper that I tea dyed. This one is particularly um, beautiful, I think. So I was thinking about. Um, you know, just going like this and then tearing the edges. I like tearing. This edge is already torn. So then I could tear the, I don't have my metal ruler. That's what I love to tear with. Let's see if I can do it with, whoa, sorry with my not metal ruler yeah um roxy um rachel at roxy creations is an awesome youtuber and etsy shop owner you should definitely purchase things from her and she makes gorgeous stuff so yeah so i was thinking about going like this and then now i have more scraps <laughs> but that's the name of the game and I like the torn look. But then I have, oh, I'm shaking the camera. I'm not going to do that on camera. But then I have 
like scrapbook paper. It's plain inside, but it's tea dyed. And then I have some of these guys here. So that's what the journal's gonna be. And I do like to make my journals, right now I like to make them functional as far as like you can write in them. I also have a whole bunch of these that I got and I thought these are similar in beautifulness. So these could go in here and then there would be places to write and then maybe I need to cover. So this is just kind of what I do is I just like, okay, I want to put this in my journal. How do I cover it? So let's cover this. So I think I'm actually going to use, this is a very thin um, eco print that isn't like, particularly beautiful on its own. So let's just use it as paper. So yeah, just collaging, like you said, just having fun with collage. So I don't even know which way this image originally went. I keep wanting to use this image. Um, you keep, okay, Anne, uh, you often wonder how people actually use the lovely collaged papers. Oh yeah, I think putting them in a journal is the best way um, or one of the best ways. Um, and I mean, I put a lot of stuff in journals. And so here's a napkin. What other ways could you guys think of to put these collage papers in or use? How else could we use them? That, that's a good thing to ask sometimes. So lots of people have ideas. I like that little bit of green in there. Um, you probably can't see it's getting really sunny. The sun is like going in and out of sun, no sun, sun, no sun. Um, you could even put, I have some tags. You can even put a tag as a focal point, you know, and just stick it down there. Or this could be um, like a tuck spot for something little. Um, let's see. I like it sticking out there. What other little tags do I have? I've got tags and tags and more tags. Um, and tags. <laughs> I was on a tag kick and I made a lot of tags one day, more than one day. Oh, hi, Donald. Better mind yourself, huh? Yeah. Bye, Donald. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so lots of tags. These don't really have focal point, but this one does. So I think I'm just gonna put that tag there. And I think to make it stand out, I'm gonna just um, ink the edges. I, like I said, I don't do a lot of edge inking. Where did that come from? Oh, Connie, that's a troll. That's somebody that has nothing else better to do. And they just look for people that are live streaming and they it is bizarre. It's like, why, why waste your time? But whatever. I'm a high school student or high school student. I'm a high school teacher. So I'm used to, um, some pretty bizarre things and I just don't even give them the time of day. Oh, here they are. <laughs> awesome. Will you go? Awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, they go in waves. And um, the thing about it is that um, is that they, um, sorry. They've uh, got nothing else better to do. So we're just going to say goodbye. And then, yeah. Who knows? It's kind of funny to me. It's like, okay, it is sad. Yeah. See, they just have like multiple accounts. And we just do like that. Yeah. Well, let's just ignore them. And then we can, if they come back, I'm just gonna ignore. You guys can click on their name um, I am blocking them, actually. Um, oh, Aaron, yes. Okay. Have a good day at work. Sorry for all the crazy person here. I'm sure. Yeah. But have a great day at work. Um, and I'll see you another time. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. But the more attention you give them, the more they come back and they like it. And that's just silliness to me. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. Anyway. I think you guys can actually report them too. Um, if you click on their name, you can hit report. If you want to help. Yeah, they do stop the flow. I'm trying to ignore them, but I don't have a, um, what's it called? Moderator. But you know, it happens to all live streamers. It's not like I'm special and, uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, we'll just ignore then. Whatever. Move along. Um, okay, so there's the base. Hmm. I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong. Thanks, Connie. He probably has like 20 accounts, so it's gonna be back. I just wanted to put a there to make that a little nicer. There we go. And then I'll put a little bit of string on it. I have a little bit of string. I'm still here. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. So uh, let's see if I have some other string. I'm going to take this string here, make this tag, make it nice. Thank you guys. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Anne. So I'm just going to make this little tag here. And then I'm gonna, should I glue it or should I sew it down? I think I'm gonna glue it because it is, this is pretty thick and this is kind of thick. And I want people to be able to write on the back and if I sewed, there'd be like a, a sewing thing. But I did want to add this little, um, 
this little tag here. So let's do that. Alrighty, moving on. So yeah, so this will go in my journal too. So sometimes if I have like a card like this, I like to, um, wherever there's things that I don't like, I just cover them up. And that's a fun thing to do. <clears throat> there we go. Oh boy, we're getting low on this Fabri-Tac here. Put the lid on, put that down. Here we go. So see, I still get to use this pretty, I don't know if you can see that. Um, this pretty um, pattern there. And then I don't think I'm going to make it, well, I could make it a tuck spot on the side. Let me see. Yeah, I have so many greeting cards, Connie. <laughs> so let's make it a tuck. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter, but let's try a side tuck. So just putting the glue on three sides. It's gluey. Putting this down here, holding it down for a minute. Yeah, I have a lot, a lot of um, greeting cards. I just got some more from a friend. It's like, hey, I don't need these. Do you want them? It's like, oh, okay. I'll use them. I haven't even looked through the box yet. These ones I found at a thrift store, and so it's kind of cool. Um, but I wonder if I could, yep, that'll fit right in there. Cute, so it'll only go to there. So I need something smaller that way, but um, these are from my shop too. I have a little um, printable in my shop with these and some and an envelope and perfect. So I'm gonna just let that fully dry before I put anything in the tuck spot. Awesome, so that's another thing for my journal. So this will be in with some of these and that. So what else should I do for my journal? I wanted to do some more of the altered envelopes like, here, let me get my envelope box. I have envelopes in here. This isn't the box that I wanted. So I have some more envelopes here. Let's see what's in this box here. getting the mail out of the box okay so I have just random stuff oh this is a cool envelope that would go well I made this envelope I think so we could use that envelope and that is like a lined envelope, so I don't know. Um, you could use an altered paper clip. Ooh, you mean with the little envelopes or in that little tuck spot? Which one do you mean, Connie? Either would be a good idea. Um, but which do you think? In, in, in the tuck spot or like make this an altered envelope or altered paper clip that's a good idea either would be awesome yeah in my journal somehow I'd love to I haven't made I that would be another thing that I could make is some altered paper clips but look the all these envelopes are just extra just tons of extra envelopes that's not an envelope, but it's an envelope box. Envelopes. I made some of these. Kind of enjoy envelopes. 
there's a tiny M or not tiny it's not as small as did I get one of those I think so okay we are moving on awesome so yeah so what I was thinking is that back there so I was thinking just like this envelope you can make a tuck spot here and then you can make like a spot here for something to tuck in so this might be a nice one for a journal because it is flowery so my last journal that I was working on was a themed journal meaning like um, Yes, clip your envelopes to a page. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. I haven't made altered envelopes in a long time, but I was thinking of making some um, with some of the stamps that I got. So maybe, or altered paper clips, my goodness. Um, but you could clip your envelope to a page. That would be really fun if you clipped your envelope to a page. So you could clip it to a page and then you could have something in here. Yeah, I, we could work on that, but um, so this would be good. So my last one was a themed journal, meaning I had it had a theme, and I was working with um, garden and and bees, and now I'm just using my scraps, and it'll end up being garden and bees and birds, and because um, that's what my scraps are but I'm not limiting, limiting it to that. So this is a nice tuck spot. And then what if, here's the journal again. So that would be okay if I cut here and could be another tuck spot. Hmm. But I just want to cut one side. So the other side. Isn't that pretty? Hmm. So this will be a tuck. Er. And then something could come out from the top or something can come out from the side. I kind of like the idea of the side. So maybe I need to make, cause I could just cut right there. So maybe I need to make something that will go in the side. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so let's do that. So what if, oh goodness, I have so many things to cut up. Like here was a tag from somebody's order but what if I just cut it and made it like a little, yeah. So I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna end in probably um, 15 minutes because I have a friend coming over for my it's a play date with a oh boy that was my child screaming um I have a play a kid kid play date so my kids can play with some other kids during spring break and that's fun love having play dates but I need to do a little bit of dishes so here we go that's going to be that is I love those butterflies so that's going to be um tucked in here like this you know you can make one side a tuck on the side and one side a tuck on the top and I think I will do one of these so you can Get it out like that yep 
and then you can just maybe I'll put something on that to yeah I can just use that as a little this is just how I use my scraps I'm sure you guys do the same as a little tab so put that in there put some glue on the end and I could sew this on too I might do that when I sometimes I get everything ready and then I'll sew you know a whole bunch of things at one time I'm gonna do some on this side too so I don't have to go back and forth to my sewing machine I just have a pile to sew and that way I like it that way okay I need like five more hands any of you feel that way sometimes there we go so I'm gonna push it in like that <clears throat> And there we go. Okay. Tell me, okay, let's see. All right. There we go. Perfect. So we've got that there. Now, the back side of this little tab here, or this little journaling card, I want to put on something that I can journal. So, let's see what kind of paper. I'm thinking so many options. This is, yeah, not that one. We'll do this one. Here's some tea stained paper. So, I'm going to actually just fold it here a little big. And Doesn't have to be perfect. Perfect does not live here. That's one of the reasons I like art. Um, in general, is because it does not have to be perfect. I have to just tell myself that a lot. Perfect. There we go. Okay, Anne. Thank you so much. Thanks for dealing with all that silly troll. All right. Yeah. Okay. And you know, uh, yeah, I'm going to glue it on and then I'm going to, I think I am going to distress the edges. I think, I think I like it. Um, let's see. So I'm going to put it on actually like that side better. I'm going to put it on that side. Sorry if I bump the camera, jiggle the camera. So in a couple of weeks, I'm going to this long meeting, like three day, four day meeting. And I have to think of something to bring with me that is not like super distracting to the people in the meeting. It's like a huge room. So it's, I'm not too worried about like, but I can't be like ripping paper and making noise like that. Um, so I'm trying to think of what project I'm going to do while I'm sitting there. Um, you know, we get a break for lunch and dinner and sometimes we come back after dinner for the meeting, but, um, wow, it got sunny. Um, anyway, so I was thinking, what could I do? Um, cause this is a lot of stuff. It also, it has to be kind of discreet. Like, 
you're not you're there for the meeting you're not there to craft but people bring their knitting and that kind of thing so I was trying to think of what I could bring that was simple any ideas I could do the other side too just to have it blend in of what I could bring that wasn't I could bring different things each day so I don't have to have a three-day craft but you know I'm not good at sitting and listening for long periods of time without any sort of mental stimulation so there we go so that is going to go also in my journal I love this envelope here it's so pretty and then I'll have there we go and then that'll be a tuck spot that'll be a tuck spot and that'll just be I don't know what I'll do with that but my journal is starting to get pages and pages and more pages I need to cut that guy off there so there we go so I think I'm gonna head out now well while well, I'm ahead but that is oh and I'm gonna use this tea stain so that's the start of some of the insides of this journal I will like cover this with something so thanks for watching and thanks for coming and dealing with oh the troubled people of the world <laughs> it is a good start um I always think that I have to do like everything all at once and really I don't oh <laughs> you want to see what happened well that's funny won't be drinking that water <laughs> but these will go in there too somehow maybe I could I could tuck some of them in there <laughs> that's actually nice I'll definitely tuck that envelope in there um so funny and then, oh, I also have, yeah, it's wood, so it floats. Um, I also have these tea dyed. You enjoyed it? Thank you, Connie. Um, scrapbook papers. That I, I think this is just scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. So that that's going in there. So yeah, just some different, that's a nice one, a lot of roses. So just another little pack of paper. So yeah, so I will say goodbye to you all now and go hang out with my kiddos and clean my house for my play date. But, oops, no, not, I'm not going to use those ones. So this is going to go in my journal. So I do like to kind of, when I'm done with a project, like put it all together. Like, okay, these are the ones that I'm going to, it's not done, but these are the ones that I'm going to use in my journal. So I'm putting them in here. So when I pick it up, I kind of have it all together and ready. So yeah, okay. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, would you give me a thumbs up? That would help. Um, thanks, Connie. Yep, see you next time. Hey, oh, one question. Did it help, Connie, for me to like pre-schedule the live? I About an hour before I like pre-scheduled it and said on, I guess on um, Facebook you can do that, or not Facebook. YouTube you can do that but I just wondered if that helped any of you if you saw that and you like came back or you waited or um because I can do that sometimes but sometimes oh yes it did okay oh yeah I'm putting this one in here too so and I really like this envelope so I'm gonna put that in there and I really like this envelope but it that one's really big and it's lined I guess I could do it, but no, if it's lined, I want to use it for something. This one's also a really nice envelope because it's lined, but it might be. You can sew them in the signatures that way. I'll leave that one there too. 
Okay, got my little bundle here, signing off. Give me a thumbs up. See you another time. Bye-bye.